This plane ain't going anywhere. It's staying right here because of the difficulties. I rather the plane break or the plane has difficulties and it's on the ground and know that I'm not inside flying and something happens, I'll be safe here in Amsterdam. Look at all that goodness there, guys. Uh, how could you go wrong? Particulate air or HEPA filters that continues. Please like, subscribe, and share. Hey, my amazing people. So, the second leg of my journey begins. Skip all to Thailand. 13 hours non stop. We are waiting to board in the next 15 20 minutes. That's my ride. Another Boeing 777 300ER. Yep. So here's what happened, guys. Last night we were about to board our plane to Thailand. And then we got a message from the company from KLM saying that our plane has uh, encountered some technical difficulties. So first our flight was delayed for about 50 minutes and then we got another message saying that this plane ain't going anywhere. It's staying right here because of the difficulties. So we will be taken care of. So we got a voucher for a hotel, we got a voucher for some food and we got some voucher for transportation. I woke up this morning in Amsterdam, guys. Yep, heading to Thailand, woke up in Amsterdam. But hey, I'd rather the plane break or the plane has difficulties and it's on the ground and know that I'm not inside flying and something happens, I'll be safe here in Amsterdam. I remember I left Park Marble last Saturday. So remember Thursday, no rest. Friday was the wedding. I had no sleep. I came home about 1, 2 in the morning. Then. Uh, I woke up Saturday, got set, uh, went to the airport. I didn't sleep a wink in the, in the, in the plane coming to, uh, to Amsterdam here. So I was so dead, dead tired last night. I, I was like a walking zombie. And then when I got to the hotel, even though I had a voucher, when I got to the hotel, they told me the food was finished because all of a sudden uh, they had to put up like about 300 passengers from KLM. Uh, flight so they ran out of food i had no dinner last night just woke up and i'm gonna go get some breakfast but hey if the plane breaks down and i know i'm safe i don't mind waking up to this guys oh beautiful it's uh my first time in holland i uh we got a one day visa to be here all right i'll take it i'll take it let me show you guys my hotel that i slept in here last night uh it's amazing don't mind the bed guys i just woke up this was my room last night for free man i mean i didn't pay for this it was by the company by klm can you believe this wow i think maybe this bathroom is probably big like my like my bedroom <laughs> Nice, it's nice guys, it's nice. That's a toilet. And that's my bed, man. I could have uh, rolled from left to right. Are you walk up to this scene, man. You walk up to this scene early in the morning. It's a gloomy day, it's a rainy day. Guess what, guys? When I stepped out of the airport last night, oh, I got a freezing shock, man. Remember, our luggages are all checked in, right? So in my hand carry, I just had one shirt to change. Thankfully, I had that one shirt. So, and it was a short sleeve shirt too. So everyone, everyone has on a jacket outside and I'm the only guy probably with a freaking short sleeve shirt t-shirt tin 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 and i was freezing i was freezing man i was it was like i was in uh uh i was like in the north pole or something it was like a a freezing shock to me i couldn't believe it 
man, this is my first time in my life I'm experiencing such a cold. I'm never, I'm never worried about cold. I'm kind of probably the only guy in my workplace that you know can be there in cold, and everyone is always complaining. Uh, it's cold, Greg. It's cold. It's cold. I'm like, what is wrong with these people? But man, this is the first time I'm experiencing this, and it's like, wow. It's like this is cold, man. Cold. I ran into the bus. And uh, that brought us here to the airport, and then I was I was okay because I was kind of freezing up. I was kind of getting like in a freeze, freezing shock. So I'm staying here at the. Let me see. I'm staying here at the. Where's the card? Oh, it's called the the Falak, the Falak Hotel Skipal. It's close to the airport because I keep hearing. Airplanes going off, coming down all night last night. So, I enjoyed my stay here. I really did. Nothing to complain about. You have to make the best in any bad situation. You have to make the best in it. You have to make the best in any bad situation. There's nothing else you can do. I'd rather be here safe than be up in a plane that's going to, I know have having difficulties. I want to just compliment the police, shout out to the police for doing their job. They were very friendly and nice to us. They offered us some water. They're very nice. So, salute to you police. Very nice. I think our police in Suriname should take some examples from police around the world. Very nice, very courteous, very patient with us, very kind. So guys, I'm going to end. I'm going to go down for some breakfast. I hope it's not too late. It's, all, it's almost it's minutes to 10 now. Talk to you guys later. This is the first time I'm experiencing this. It's supposed to be in Thailand, but uh, I'm still here in Amsterdam. But hey, like I said, right, we got to make the best of, this, of a bad situation. This is really an amazing hotel. I'm here staying at the Falak Hotel. Look at this place, amazing place, guys. See? Uh, look, at my, look at my breakfast. Breakfast fit for a king. Look at all that goodness there, guys. Uh, how could you go wrong? How could you go wrong? Oh, it's cold. Ooh. Man, I'm, ex I'm trying to experience this kind of weather. Wow, now I understand when people say they cannot live in a country this weather. I can see why. This is freaking cold, man. I didn't expect this to be so cold. Ooh. Well, according to the the guy at the front desk, he said it's bad weather here today. I can see because the sky is really dark. Uh, this is the hotel where I'm staying at. It's beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. Wow. This is the lobby. This place is awesome. This place is amazing. I'm back here at the airport. Look, look, look. <laughs> this is the only time I get to smoke. <laughs> so fun, guys. Hopefully, no more delays and we can take off on time. I'm already, I'm already losing one day. And we're going with the same plane that we were supposed to go with last night, so I'm assuming it's fixed. Hope it's fixed properly. Hey guys, so after much delay, we're finally on the plane. More than 24 hours of delay. The previous plane we were supposed to go on, it's, it's, it's not working. It's broken. So they had to change the plane for us, so now we're boarding another plane. Passengers are boarding now, so once they finish that and they finish refueling this plane and transfer all the baggages into this plane, then we will be taking off. So that's in about next 30 minutes. Yep. So on to Thailand we go.
Cambodia, Bangkok, Thailand. Getting ready to land. Still here surviving. Yeah, I am. I guess three days behind of sleep, but I'm, I'm. I'm okay. I'm okay. Almost at my final destination. Just need to do one more flight. When I last updated you guys, we just stopped by in Thailand. I think for one hour, 45 minutes. They refuel the plane and then they clean the plane. We travel then onwards to Philippines. Two hours and 45 minutes. And we landed like about a little after eight o'clock. 8 p.m. That's Filipino time, and uh, I took like about four to five minutes to clear immigrations and custom. Like a breeze, just flow through like a breeze, no question asked. All they told me was, "Sir, how enjoy your vacation?" What I must say, the staff here working, the immigration staff and the custom officers and the airline staff, very very friendly people. I must say that really friendly so I had to proceed onward to check on my domestic connecting flight from Manila to Bicol so after an hour or so I was able to confirm that flight I checked in a while ago like after 2 and um, the flight leaves here at 440 so I'm sitting here in the in the hallway waiting for that flight to leave. As you guys can see, different flights are boarding and different gates. If you look down that way, look at that head, you can hardly see all the way down there. This, what was it? What is the airport? This airport is really huge. When I say huge, huge. But it goes all the way down direction, all the way to the end there. Really amazing airport. You should see the commotion outside. Not confusion, but commotion. Because they checked in all the passengers for all the domestic destinations all at one time. Crazy. I should have taken a picture of that, but I'm, I'm here already in the oh, waiting wow. line. So I'm here sitting waiting to board my, my other flight, my final flight, which will board in about an hour's time. And um, that'll take me to beautiful albay so when you guys see me on the other vlog i'll be in bakakai proper in albay so guys take care stay safe thank you for your support and god bless patungong legaspi maaari po lamang natawagin ang pansin ng inyong cabin crew and scientific research support that in-flight transmission of covid is very low or virtually non-existent for everyone's peace of mind the aircraft is equipped with high efficiency particulate air or HEPA filters that continuously renew the air dirt.